Hey everyone, today on the Plastic Canvas I'm going to show you how to create a muzzle burn effect. Hey everyone, Matty from the Plastic Canvas and welcome to today's painting video. And like I said in the intro today, I'm going to show you how to create a muzzle burn effect, just like you can see here on the tip of Firebug's Flamethrower from Gatefall. So a muzzle burn effect happens when metal is heated continuously to a really, really high temperature and then it starts to shift into those purples and those blues and so that's the effect that we're going to be creating today. So our starting point is just to create a smooth metallic base coat colour for all of our different tones to go over the top of and for that I'm using Gunmetal from Vallejo. And then our first tone that we want to create before moving into the purples and the blues is just this bronzy typed colour because this is the colour that the silver metallic will shift into before going into the purples. So I'm just using bright bronze from Vallejo and this is really, really thin down, a fair bit of water mixed into this so that I'm able to nice and smoothly blend it from the bronze into the silver metallic and I'm going to do this over two layers. Here I am applying the second layer. So I'm just starting at the tip and then working about three quarters or so of the way down and then cleaning off the bristles and then with them slightly damp, just feathering out the edge so that as the edge of that bright bronze layer thins out, it allows more and more of that silver metallic to show through and that's how we're going to get these nice smooth blends. And now that our bronze layer is done, we're going to start to shift towards purple. And for this, I'm using Imperial Purple. But the main thing here is that you just want to pick a really purple purple. Don't go too dark or too light, just your most solid purple. And then we're just going to paint this in the exact same way as the bronze, so it's still fairly thin down. And I'm starting at the tip of the flamethrower again, but just not working as far down as what I did with the bronze. But then once I reach that point where I finish, again, clean off the bristles, feather out the edge so that it gradually thins it out and then allows the bronze to show through from below. And then once that first layer has dried, then just applying a second layer just to build the opacity. And with that purple done, we're now moving on to the blue layer. And so again, like with the purple, just pick a really, really solid blue out of your collection, one that's quite vibrant. For me, I went with Oceanic Blue from Reaper. But again, we're painting in the exact same way, thinning it down and then feathering out the edges. But again, just not going down as far as what I did with the purple so that we still see some of the silver metallic blending into the bronze into the purple and then into the blue. And again, we'll do this over two layers. And now with that blue layer done, we're just going to finish it off with a little bit of black right on the tip just to make it look really, really singed and burnt. But again, thin down, only putting a little bit down right on the tip there and then blending it into the blue. All right, so just as I finish off with the black, just to really make the tip of the flamethrower look really, really singed and burnt, that is our muzzle burn effect complete. So thank you very, very much for checking out another one of my videos. I really do hope that you enjoyed it and found something in here that you can take away and use in your own painting. If you did, please consider giving the video a thumbs up as well as hitting the subscribe button if you haven't yet. But that's going to do us for today. So until next time, this is Matt from The Plastic Canvas signing out. Happy painting, everyone. Cheers.